ain't here because you cute. You ain't here because you got money. No, no. Whatever looks you got, God gave it and he's soon going to take it. That's right. Amen. That's you can right. get all the implants, get all the antifreeze put in you, <laughs> get all the Botox and get your lips inflated. Amen. Mm -hmm. But one thing that takes you back to your original stage is the grave. grave. You waste all that money on old recycled pieces of plastic. <laughs> Stuff them in your hips and going to CVS and Walgreens and buying dead people hair. That's right. Get me. Getting your veins and artificial plaques. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm talking about you hell-deserving Christian people. Yeah. And you sinners also. The devil made you hate the way God made you. That's right. Black folk, you ain't satisfied. So you go to the doctor, and now they give you pills. Yeah. And you take enough of them, it can change the exterior of your skin complexion. There was a baseball player, I can't think of his name. What was his name? Sosa. Sam Sosa. He did that. He was a dark brown skinned brother. But uh, he didn't like the way God made him. So he started taking pills and get his skin color changed. It ain't going to help you. Don't obey God, you'll go to hell if you're striped. Amen. Amen. So, the devil make the human family hate themselves. Mm -hmm. And the devil used media. Mm -hmm. Power and the manipulation of media. Our young girls mm -hmm. want to look like entertainers. So you want to walk the street half naked, yeah. looking like an entertainer who, who look like a hoe. That's right. You have a sense of pride when you got a split from your ankle to your hip. Makes you proud to wear a blouse where your cleavage is showing. Yeah. Makes you proud. Makes the so-called Christian proud. Mm -hmm. When a church got enough money to sponsor a cruise so the Christian women can lay out on the deck of the ship in bikinis for the bishop. That's right. That's right. Am I right? Yeah. Where the men can run around with swimming trunks half naked. naked. Christian folk. Christians. But when you do it like God say do it, you will cover up the shame of your nakedness. That's right. Amen. That's right. You will cover it up. Cover it up. On the outside, half naked, fishnet stockings and breasts all out and backside all out. Yeah. Skirt shame. this big. Shame. Blouse that big. That's right. Mama's out there just as loose like their daughter. Mm -hmm. You fathers, earrings in your ear. And then put an earring in the ear of your son, looking like a little hoodlum. That's right. Amen. That's right. Father got your pants hanging down. Advertising your backside. Lord. Like you're gay. That's right. Here, here now. That's right. It ain't no real man advertises underwear. Amen. Am I right, men? Yeah. Glory to That's God. That's right. This modern Christian society. 
are nothing but church devils and fakers and frauds. That's right. If you truly follow Jesus' teaching, your whole life going to be lived opposite. Opposite. From the way you've been living. That's right. You may struggle over some things, but your love for him and your love for the teaching, you're going to change. Yes, you will. Am I right, I said? Yes, there ain't no Christian woman, you out here with your low-riding jeans, <laughs> jeans so tight you show the shape of your birth canal. That's right. With no shame. No shame. And you dress your daughter up the same way. Amen. Men now want to be drag queen. My Lord. I'm told they got a drag queen fashion show. My Lord. Drag. Dragon. That let you know you're scraping the bottom. You drag. Dragon. Yeah. That's right. You see, you preachers watching us, you're scared to preach this because you're on the payroll of the board of directors. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ain't no board of directors paying me a dime. I can say like the Apostle Peter, let me freely, freely speak unto you. That's it. I can freely speak to you with no constraints, you know. Now, I am told... Mm. I was in a business meeting today with one of my staffs, and one mentioned that they're trying to do it now. They're, they're really pushing this homosexual agenda. Yeah. Uh, like I said on our telecast last week, they're pushing homosexuality so hard, harder than they was pushing desegregation. That's right. Huh? That's right. They didn't desegregate buses or schools this quick. No. They're trying now. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the sister told me that in birth, they don't have to acknowledge the child agenda. My Lord. Leave it blank. My Lord, my Lord. And then let them decide. Mm. And you wonder why I fight homosexuality so hard? Uh, amen. God said, let us make, make man. man. God made me. That's it. So homosexual? Mm. Who made you? Who, who made you? Now, man... No matter how much you switch, you still a man. Still a man. See, when you do all this, you're just lying. That's right. And woman, when you do this, yeah. Just lying. Just lying. No matter how you change up. That's right. Brother, mm -hmm. you can get silicon, old newspapers, inner tubes, Amen. recycle cans, and old bottles. Oh, yeah. Shove it in your chest, mm -hmm. shove it in your hips, yeah. and just walk the street. That's right. That's right. Out in the front and out in the back. Out in the back. You're still a man. You That's know right. why? Because word said Have let us That's right. make, make man. man. That's it. And his word it's true. don't change. That's right. That's right. Doctors may add and take away mm -hmm. but you have an altered word that's right because fella once your body get changed it's still a man going to hell going to hell amen 
sister. Once your body get changed, yeah. it's still a female. It's still a female. Going to hell. That's right. Have you not read? Do you hear? Do you hear? In Matthew 19 and verse 5. Word is talking. Have you not read? Have you not read? That he which made them at the beginning. He which made them at the beginning. Made them male. Male. And female. Female. That's it. And transgender. Male and female. No, male, female, and transgender. Male and female. No, male, female, and homosexual. Male and female. No, male and female, and homosexual, and transgender. Male and female. Male, female, homosexual, transgender, and I don't know. Male and female. In All right, man. That's right. Talk to me. Yeah. That's right. That's what the word believes. That's the word. That's the word. You preachers, mm -hmm. you hate this book. Yeah. You have no respect, no regard for it. That's right. So the devil make these little sugar things preachers. Amen. With their own reality talk shows and all this garbage. Yeah. Amen. Jesus have been so misrepresented. Yes, he have. Until the world call anything, anything. church. That's mm -hmm. why they protest against us so bitterly. Yeah. If God told Amos, what do you see? I see a plumb line in the midst of the people. Anyone know anything about building? A plumb line is the instrument of straightness. That's right. In every form of architect, you got to have the plumb line. Yeah. You got to have the plumb line because you want the wall to go up straight. Straight. And if that wall is not straight, the inspector going to interrupt your project. That's right. And if the wall violates the plumb line, then you're going to have to tear it down, tear it down. and start all over again. That's right. The inspector don't care how tired you are. Now, God put a plumb line uh, in the earth. That's right. And he said he made man upright. Upright. That's it. So when a man is homosexual, there's a bend in his nature. That's right. Because if he made us in his image, mm -hmm. there is no bend in God. No. Lo, this only have I found. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 7 and verse 29. This only. This only have I found. Have I found. That God. God. Hath made man upright. Wait a minute. He found something else. This only have I found. No, 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 no. He found something else. This wait, only. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> sure they're clean. I want to make sure he can see this right. Make sure I can see it. You know, because y'all people done found so much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, maybe that'll help you to see what all these other folks have seen. In the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 29. All right. Lo. Lo. This only. Is still there? Still there. Still there. This only. Have I found. Have I found. That God. Who? God. Amen. Now, in the homosexual Bible, mm -hmm. they got in there. God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. God loved everybody. Oh, yeah? God says, Jacob I love and Esau I hate. Hate it. God says he hate with the perfect hate. That's right. You think God don't hate? I have loved you. Listen, in listen. A, in the book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 2. You see, you preachers walk around talking about, oh, God is just love. That's all? That's all. No, that's one-sided. That's right. 
Listen. I have in Malachi chapter 1 and verse 2. I have. I have loved you, saith the Lord. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hath thou loved us? And yet you ask, well, how did you love us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Uh -huh. Yet I loved Jacob. I loved Jacob. And I hated Esau. And I hated Esau. I hated Esau. Now, what about you, viewer? What about you? Do God love your behavior? Mm. Or do God hate it? Mm. Do God love when two men stand before a pervert that My call himself a judge? My Lord. And try to pronounce you husband and husband? Husband and husband. Let me say this to all of my viewers, you that have jobs. Because we're going to cause a ruckus. Amen. And I love causing ruckus. Amen. Anytime you got a job and they want you to fill out paperwork and a man got his sex changed mm. and you know that man name is Dan. <laughs> but now you are told to put Danielle My Lord. on that paperwork. Don't lie. That's right. Put, it, put what it is. That's right. And if you got to fill out a form that says M for male or F for female, and you know he's a male, I don't care if he got 40 two inch tires in his chest amen all got stuff in his chest big as a Mack truck <laughs> that's right still check the M check the M don't you lie to keep your job that's right don't you lie to compromise for nobody nobody Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I listen to the old man. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. You bargain preachers. Amen. That's your rainbow flag hanging out the church. And you, and you ain't with Operation Push, Jesse Jackson. No. But you are trying to push. Trying to push. That's right. Trying to push your agenda. And That's Congress right. is right in back of it. Amen. You Democrat hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Hillary is promoting the same agenda. Yes. Donald Trump, he endorsed it too. Yeah. He endorsed it. Every Democrat. This is how desperate people are for votes. That they will agree to abomination, a bow to abomination, and say yes, yes to abomination. That's right. For a vote. For a vote. How can you vote for blasphemy? Amen. Every so-called Christian that vote for same-sex marriages, Go you're going to hell. My Lord. You are lovers of blasphemy. Amen. I don't care if it's your daddy. Yeah. I don't care if it's your husband. Yes. You know, some stages that air this telecast won't air it. No. When I talk about homosexual. Yeah. What I care. That's right. That's right. We bow to no station. That's right. God says. God. God. Preach the word. Preach the word. That's it. I have to do it. That, that's right. If you drop us today, God will pick us up tomorrow. Yeah. The only way a television station or a radio station got a problem with us preaching the Bible, you are hypocrites hypocrite. to say you are a Christian station. That's right. I represent Christ. That's right. I represent Jesus. Amen. You claim you believe this? 
Amen. No television network will dictate what us to preach. That's right. God told us what to preach. That's right. Not you. Amen. Teach that word. No man word. will tell us what to preach. That's right. God already told us. Preach the word. 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 In season. In season. Out of season. Out of season. Please. That's it. Well, you can say it nicer so they don't get rid of you. The earth is the Lord's. We belong to God. Hallelujah. God owns the church. That's right. God owns the church. It's time for you scared church people. Go ahead. Stand up for God. Go ahead. Stop being so scared. Hallelujah. Stop being so weak. Stand up for God. Go to God. Hallelujah. Where's the stand up? Go ahead. What you scared of? If you kill us, yes. so what? If we die, we comes back. That's right. We come Yeah! We come back at that. Hallelujah. That's what we're waiting for. Hallelujah. Go ahead, man. We will never bow to no politician, no government, no authority but God. Amen. We don't encourage nobody to vote. If you vote for a politician and that politician got one belief that contradict God and you back that politician, you are going to hell for your vote. That's right. God can't lie. That's right. If you vote for Hillary, strengthen the hand. You sin. That's right. Because you strengthen the hand of evildoers. Of evildoers. Amen. If you vote for Trump, Amen. You sin. That's a sin. Strengthen the hands of evildoers. You strengthen the hands. Of evil I'm groups. not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm holy. Sanctified. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Holy God. Go ahead. We're holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are holy people. Holy people. Hallelujah. We're on the Lord's side. That's right. We're not on Trump's side. No. We ain't on Hillary. No. Neither one of them are no good. No. But God, God never fail. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never fail. Never fail. God is faithful. Go ahead, brother. Hey. Go ahead. God don't lie. God don't lie. God don't make a promise. Yeah. Then go back on. That's right. Go ahead, brother. You scared Christians. Jesus said, Go ahead, man. If you're ashamed of me, ashamed of you. I'll be ashamed of you. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. I'm not ashamed, not ashamed. of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed of them. Hallelujah. 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 I'll be ashamed of him. That's right. Democrat Hallelujah. or Republican. Elephants and donkeys. Yes. That's what they represent. <laughs> That's right. You represent beasts. That's right. These as natural brute beasts. Made to be taken and destroyed. Made to be taken and destroyed. Amen. You politicians? Gay lovers. Go ahead, man. So you feel important. Because you got a man that married a man on your platform. platform. This is why I'm voting for Hillary. 
because Hillary <laughs> believes in us. That's what they say. Hillary understands our plight. That's right. Hillary <laughs> understands what we're going through. Amen. You and Hillary is going to hell. Going to hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What has happened? What's happening? So you things that call yourself Christians. What happened to you? What happened to you? How did you get so weak? Yeah. So feeble. Feeble. Even you so-called apostolic derelicts. That's right. You're no better than anybody else. Amen. Some so-called Christian coalition <laughs> getting behind politicians. Yeah. Can a person be a politician and be of God? Yes. Yes. David was a king. That's right. But he feared God. He feared God. Solomon was a king. Yes. But he feared, feared God. God. Josiah was a king. Yeah. Feared God. Feared God. Hezekiah was a king. Yeah. Feared God. That's it. That's it. David was a king and a prophet and, and a man after God on heart. That's right. The difference between them and the politicians of today. The fear of God and the respect of God was in them. Right. They feared what God said. Amen. They respect what God said. Amen. You may say, well, Pastor Dennis Hillary is making history. <laughs> the first woman. Okay, all right. Big deal. History is made every second. Amen. Quicker than that. Yeah. I'm not interested in that. No. You want to make history? Obey God. That's history. That's right. Every Democrat and every Republican, Tea Party, Coffee Party, <laughs> and the Soda Group, <laughs> whatever you call yourself, the word is God, it's and God. God demands that you repent of your sins. That's it. You homosexuals, all you can strut around like you're the Mama's Parade, all you want. All you want. There will not be no homosexuals in the kingdom of God. No, no. I defy. That's right. I defy the whole world. That's right. I had someone write me and say, well, I bet if, if your friend, Mr. Steve Williams, if you find out he was homosexual, yeah, they wrote that way. My Lord. <laughs> they wrote a letter and said, if, if I found out you was homosexual, I wouldn't preach it. You don't know me. No, they don't know you, Pastor. <laughs> Let me make it close. If I found out my 85-year-old mama was a lesbian, <laughs> I'd preach her into hell. That's right. That's right. This Bible will not change. For father, Amen. mother, no. son, daughter, husband, Not changing. or wife. That's right. And you know it ain't changing for him. That's right. Am I right? You're right. Amen. Amen. My Lord, my Lord. I'm straight. You straight? I'm straight. He's straight. I'm straight. Uh, hey. Straight. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Homosexual. You can hide behind a cross. Yeah. And the steeple of your choice. Amen. Not one. It's going to get into the kingdom. No, it won't. You won't outrun scripture. No, you won't. No, you won't. You think you got power because you got Hillary backing you? 
We got God, God. back in us. Amen. Amen. No man. Amen. No woman got more power than God. No, no. You Democrat and Republican congressmen that are watching. Yeah. Every last one of you that voted to endorse homosexuality, Endorsing. Endorsing. you're going to stand before the judgment seat of God. Yeah. Every judge, male or female, that take same sex and put them before you and perform a fake wedding, Amen. you're going to stand before God. Stand before God. Barack, you ought to be embarrassed to be called a man. Amen. Amen. How can the words of love come so loose, loose. out of the mouth of a man? Amen. Well, we should not question <laughs> who we love. My Lord. Who, who, who we shouldn't question who you sleep with. Or what to sleep with. What really? Sleep with. Leviticus, Leviticus is one of the scriptures that the gays have in their homosexual Bible and they change the wording. Mm. Because it's against. One thing about the devil, he come out with his own Bibles and get rid of everything he can that hurt him. Right. Everything. Everything that's against him, he take it out. That's right. He get rid of the ink, but he haven't got rid of the word. That's right. Amen. Real quick, son. In Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Yes. If a man also lie with I mankind. I know the moment some of y'all see this, you're going to get on internet with your comments. That's gay bashing. Call, look, it's not gay bashing. It's gay killing. <laughs> That's right. It's killing. It's killing. It's gay killing. That's right. It's past bashing. Never mind bashing. Never I'm mind killing that. it. That's right. I'm killing it with God's eternal word. That's it. That's it. What did he say? If a man also lie with mankind. If a man lie with mankind. As he lies with a woman. As he lie with a woman. Both of them. Both of them. Have committed an abomination. They took that out. They, they, they restructured the wording. Mm. So it don't have such a detrimental overtone. My Lord. All right. B both of them have committed an abomination. Yes. They shall surely be put to death. They, they want to get rid of that. My Lord. They don't want to say put him to death. Mm. Why? Because the homosexual do not agree with the Lord. That's right. That's right. Now, there is no such thing as a Christian homosexual. No such thing. In my world travel, I ran up on those who said Jesus was homosexual. Yes. This is how wicked and I and you look at me and ask it why every time that man get up here preach against it. My Lord. What I'm out here around the world, what I hear and see you don't. Right. They are now trying to say that Jesus had a sexual relationship with John. What? The disciple that laid his head upon his breast. Yes. This is what they doing now. And here's people cringe when we preach. Yeah. That's something. I'm a target for the homosexual community. That's something. And I ain't running. No, no. I want your best debater. Amen. Bring him out of the college, bring him on top of the college. If he was born with a dictionary in his scalp. Amen. Yeah. Dictionary in his scalp and the Webster in his back pocket. That's right. I say every homosexual Bible scholar, lawyer, doctor, judge, so-called preacher, if you're in the medical field, you can't participate in an operation that will help change the body of a man or a woman right. to what's not theirs. That's right. Can't even give it anesthesia. No, no. 
No. Can't give it morphine. That's right. I can't do nothing to help that operation go smoothly. That's right. Because I'm stripped in the hands of evil doers. Evil Amen. That's right. Well, Pastor Judith, I'm a psychologist, and it's my job to uh, sit and talk to them and prepare them for the operation. the operation. If you sit and talk to them to prepare them, sit and tell them not to do not it. Not to do it. That's right. Tell them, hey, Mr. and Miss Psychologist, mm -hmm. tell them what the Word of God Word said. said. Tell them what word said. That's right. Eh? That's right. Tell them what word said. That's right. And what the word of God said. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Amen. What you said. What you said. Hypocrite. That's right. They sick of this preaching. That's right. For all these abominations. All these abominations. Have the men of the land done. Homosexuality is a spirit. That's right. A person can be straight. I mean, parents straight, everything straight. Everything straight. And then the spirit of the devil puts something in them. Never had a gay experience in their life. That's true. In their life. That's true. All of a sudden, they want to marry some ashy knee fella. <laughs> And his knees is ashy. Amen. So you judges, you got in your courthouse in God you trust, you's a liar. That's a lie. I challenge your courthouse. I challenge the whole jurisdiction. That's right. You don't trust God. Don't but trust when you, God. Listen, when you say you trust God, that means you put his word over yours. Yeah. That's Go right. back to the book of John so I can knock off. Everybody all right? Yeah. Real quick. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. He's a God of His Word. And the Word was God. And that Word was God, is God going to be God. The same uh -huh. was in the beginning with God. Now, God is infallible. Yeah. Being God, He makes no mistakes. Right. He manifests His divine nature. Within a human body. And the human body took on the name of the divine nature that was in it. He took on the name Jesus and took on the title Christ. And Christ was in that human body and that body was an example for the world to follow. And the body did not marry no man. No, no, no. Every homosexual that say you're a Christian, you're a liar. Listen at Pastor Jennings now. I know you don't like it, and I hope you don't. Mm -hmm. And I hope you do something about it. Amen. Amen. You got that tenderness in you. Let me make a man out of you. Come on, man up. I say every homosexual that claim you're a Christian, you a liar. That's a lie. Don't let me throw that out and let me get away. Mm -hmm. Bring your homosexual pastor with his rainbow robe. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Bring your rainbow robe. And see if I don't put you somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Eh? That's right. What did he say? In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was God. And the Word was with God. He's a God of His Word. And the Word was God. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. <laughs>